Let's crack this bag open and uh, and I'll show you the consistency of this stuff. It is soft and easy to work with. By the way, I'm not getting an endorsement from them, at least not yet, but I'd like to. But see how soft it is? It's non-toxic. Um, it, it's basically a, a like a paper base and you just start wrapping and pushing it it, it uh, the more little cracks and crevices you have on your uh, foil armature the better it'll go in and and you can stop anywhere along the process you know if I wanted to stop right here for right now I could that and that would harden I could come back and then it'd be even easier to work because this whole part would be stiff but you just work it in with your hands make sure you know you're sticking it to the foil and the more you do of this the better you will get just like anything else I've heard people say uh, oh I'm not creative hooey everybody's creative now you might not be able to draw because that is a skill and a skill develops with practice just like typing so if you want to be able to draw which doesn't have anything to do with this but if you wanted to draw devote time to it like you would typing you would learn the skill of drawing and you would be good at it. So doing this will increase your, th your three-dimensional creativity and you'll every time you do it you'll get a little better. You get have a little bit more understanding of how to view three-dimensional art and like any skill you'll get better at it the more you do practice practice I'll finish this up off camera and let it dry and I'll come back and we'll do some painting, carving. Right. So I have a coat of this clay all the way covering everything and also made a little hammer here. And as you can see what I've done is I have um, didn't like the way the legs are positioned and the front legs were positioned too close together so um, I just took my exacto knife made a couple cuts here 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 and here and did some control breaks so I broke the clay but the the aluminum foil armature is still holding everything together and that'll make it very easy to go in and put another layer of of clay on and get everything exactly the way I want it. Um, here's an example. This is the um, cat head that I was working on uh, just previously. And here's an example of how if you want to make these ears, let's say, back, it just, you can just snap it and pull those ears back or even this piece came off that's fine because you'll be able to change the armature which is the foil and now make the ears fold back or or more forward however you want them then it becomes final shaping with carving sanding and such all right, so I've got a paintbrush and a glass of water. 
and, and look how smooth just by brushing like so much easier and right here where all this we're going to put some clay here and bring this back together and some clay here some right there so just wet it all get some of those little loose pieces of clay out of there I think I want to go back over the neck connection here as well. I might have a little work to do up here on the head. Into the clay. I keep it, you don't have to, to keep pulling it in and out of this bag, but I do it because the lights are hot. And it dries out the clay pretty quick. So my reference material is here. This cat's name is Spike. If any of you watch uh, Jimmy DeResta on YouTube, this is his cat. Um, and I'm making this for him. I'll send it to him. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. He features his cat a lot. It looks like this piece is very dry. I'll take that off. And while it's wet like this, if you wanted to texture it, you could just by putting lines in like so, you can texture it. Um, you can make a tool like I have here. This little tool, I'll try to get it to where it'll focus a bit. It's just little needles, little stick pins, and look how you can texture that right in and then if it's you change your mind a little water smooth it right out this is very user-friendly medium to start with when I was a kid I wish I would have had it had been introduced to this medium because it is so friendly, so easy to use. All right, so I've added some clay and did a lot of sanding. You can see that uh, it's a much I made it much more stocky because my reference material makes him look like he's a pretty hefty cat. Um, and did a lot of shaping with sandpaper. Um, so even if uh, small children are, are, are doing this, you don't necessarily need a knife to carve. You can give them sandpaper and, uh, and say go to town. They, you can shape this stuff fairly easy uh, just using sandpaper.